Today I want to talk about college majors. So I thought that this would be a useful conversation, especially in terms of 2021, because like this week I've been having a lot of conversations just about like perspective and I just think that we are in such a unique and weird time right now. And it's probably like, I feel like everyone's mental state is like the most terrible right now. Like I think, you know, last March was pretty rough and like the summer was like, it was okay, like at least we got to see people, but like now, you know, if you're following the <laughs> if you're following the rules, like I literally don't see anybody because it's too cold to go outside. It's, you know, there's the new variant. People are finally getting vaccinated, so it's like you're just trying to hold on until you can get the vaccine, but then like the vaccine's having problems anyway. It's not a good time to have a brain and thoughts. That's all I gotta say. And I know that I probably had the most existential crises in college, like my second semester, my freshman year. And so I feel like this is good timing because I feel like there's gonna be a lot of freshmen like alone in their dorm rooms, like literally questioning everything. And I'm just here to tell you that you are not alone. That's very normal. Even if you're not a college freshman, if you're you know a, a senior in high school or a junior in high school, Literally everyone's asking you like, hey, what do you want to major in? Like that question is going to tell you everything that you need to know about a person. And I just think that, that, that we need to stop. Yeah, that was good. You might be wondering, how do I even pick a major? How do, how do I do that? What is it going to do for me? What is answering this question going to answer the, the problems of my life? No, it's not. It's not because I have picked a major. I picked, okay, let me give you some backstory. So I picked my major before I went to college. Uh, I'm an arts management major and a creative writing minor. Yeah, so I picked my major before I even applied to colleges. Like I knew what schools I was looking at for my specific major. And I picked a major, I just sort of knew what I wanted to do because I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I'm just gonna get right into it. So how to pick a major in 2021. So the number one thing that I wanna talk about is that we have no perspective right now. Um, and I sort of mentioned this earlier, but this is a big year of nothing. Like literally nothing has happened. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm just in my house all day, all night, uh, doing nothing, looking at nothing, thinking about nothing, but also everything. And that's a weird angle to like come at your life. Because I was having a conversation the other day and I was like, I want to move to the countryside. I want to live in a cottage in the mountains. <laughs> And like last year I was like, no, I want to live in a big city and like be around culture and art. And like, I have no perspective right now. And like maybe in a year I will still want to live in a cottage in the mountains alone. Who knows? But um, that also could just be because I have like a lack of perspective right now. Like I feel like once the world opens back up, things might shift about. And that might be something you have to deal with if you're, you know, you haven't picked a major yet and you pick one during this time. Now my number two tip or like thing for advice is literally nobody knows what they want to do for a living. Like, I think maybe, okay, maybe some people do, like if you're a lawyer or a doctor or something. But I've been in a lot of internships and I've been in a lot of like professional settings in my past, you know, three years. And every single time that I talk to somebody, start asking people, like if you're in an internship, like ask them how they ended up at this job or this whatever, like this internship or their major, like just start talking to people about it. And I guarantee you like 95 per, I'm gonna say 95. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go straight, go for it. I'm gonna say 95% of people, their major has absolutely nothing to do with what they're doing in life. Okay, maybe that's, maybe that's too high. Well, okay, they didn't know that they would end up in this specific job because of their major. And I'm not saying that your major does not correlate to life. I'm saying that like a lot of the times, it just, it just somehow just doesn't. <laughs> Okay, so this is like the this is like real concrete. So number three is look at your school's catalog. So looking at like the title of a major or a description can sometimes be really confusing, especially when you're in high school, because a lot of the times like you don't know the terminology or like what specific like words mean in the description. So you're just like, what, like literally what am I reading? So what I recommend is if you're looking into majors, look at the school's catalog and look at the classes that you would be taking within your major. For me, arts management, like you would, most people are like, oh, so you talk about, you know, about art a lot. No, 
<laughs> like literally not one bit. Um, like I kind of, maybe, I don't know anything about art history. I don't know anything about art, like literally not at all. And you know what, I, don't, I haven't even taken a management class yet. I don't even think I have to take a management class. Titles don't always don't always help. So yeah, just look at the catalog and see what you're gonna be doing. So you get a better idea of what you're actually going to be learning, like what skills. And I think a really good tip too, like if you don't if you don't know specifically what you want to do, picking a sort of vague major that has a bunch of classes that you think could be good life skills that you that sound interesting to you somewhat, like I think that's a really good route to go down because there's flexibility in it. That's kind of why I picked my major is because I really don't know what I want to do for a living one day. And you know, it gives me classes about like creativity and um, you know, I can take cool electives that I've, I've always wanted to take. But also I get classes like strategic planning and like economics, financial math, you know, law, like, which are all things that you just, that could come in handy or not. I don't actually know, but that sounds useful and it sounds like a marketable thing to put on a resume. So, okay. So number four is understand what you want your college experience to look like. Some majors, which they don't really tell you. So, okay. Obviously, like if you're a math major and you hate math, that's gonna be harder than being an English major if you love English. So like, don't do, okay, that's a, maybe a bad analogy, but some majors are more credits than others. Figure out what you want to get out of college and how you learn. And you know, if having a bunch of internships for you is what's gonna mean most to you in your life and career and the way that you learn and like live your life, then maybe don't pick a major that has you taking like 20 credits a semester. Like there's not one way to look at college. So number five is your minor. So picking a minor can either be really strategic or just pick something that you think is really fun. If you're a math major and you're like, damn, I really love theater. I want to like take classes in theater. Like literally no one is stopping you from taking a theater minor. And honestly, when you go to apply for your math job, that'll be something kind of interesting that you can talk about in your interview. And it'll just be time well spent because you know, you love doing it. I guess that's just what I'm trying to say with that one. Number six, um, and this one you might be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so a lot of people love to talk about love to talk about manifesting on YouTube. Uh, I'm not gonna like get into my thoughts on that um, because I think like everyone has like a way of figuring out their life, working towards goals and, and doing that. Like the baseline of what manifesting is sort of coincides with picking a major. Obviously, like I've already said in this video, your major doesn't necessarily always coincide with what you're gonna do later, at least in the conversations that I've had with people. However, it does set you on a path of thinking. My major relies a lot on creative thinking and like logical thinking and uh, it surrounds the arts and so surrounds creativity and creative industries. And that's just something that I've always been interested in. So, you know, if you really love like social media and thinking about the ways that it's, you know, impacting our world and our life, then maybe you want to be a communications major. I don't know if that's like the best example, but I think the best way to think about picking a major is manifesting a life that you want for yourself. So whether that's, you know, a nice paycheck <laughs> or, you know, a life in my case of creativity, um, surrounding creative people, or maybe you love science and you want to like keep doing that and you don't exactly know how, starting off by picking something that you're just like truly interested in that you could think about doing for the rest of your life or doing something with it or in the field, I think it'd be really helpful. So that's really my advice. Um, leave any questions that you have down below. I'm happy to answer any, I'm happy to answer any of them because this is really, it's really kind of, it's tricky and it's hard. And I have definitely had moments where I've questioned like, what am I doing? What am I, you know, what was I thinking picking this? But then I have moments where I like, I really love it. And I don't think that, 
I think it's a myth to think that like, once you land on the perfect thing, you're gonna feel amazing about it and you're gonna, you know, it's just gonna click and your life's gonna be perfect. Like, I just don't think that that's a realistic way to look at it um, for, for the majority of people. So like, don't feel bad if you're just like kind of stressed about it. Just do what feels right and you know, you'll end up on a path that's, um, you'll, end up, you'll end up on your path. So I don't know if that helps. <laughs> But yeah, leave any questions below. Um, give this video a like if you liked it and um, subscribe because I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.